Uh, Rob Smith here from Tasman District Council. So I'm just talking to you today um, just to give you a bit of a heads up on the drought. Um, you, you realise that the drought's increasing in severity and we just kind of wanted to get some more information out there. Um, so essentially what it means for Tarkia and actually the district as a whole is we've had uh, two to three months of really low rainfall. And uh, there, there's information on the website you can find out about that. So what this means, it means that your rivers are on about a 1 in 50 year return period, possibly even higher. So you'll see the Tarkika and the Auraria quite low flows at the moment. And a lot of the small creeks are really, and they'll be dry at the roadside, a lot of those. So what does it mean for you as an urban person? Well, it means that you're still on a hosing ban. Uh, so no sprinklers. You can use buckets every second day to water your fruit trees or your, uh, you know, your veggie garden. But please be really conservative about that water use because we really need to manage that water. Council is treated just like the other irrigators. What does it mean for the other irrigators or consumptive users? Uh, as of Monday, they're on a 50% cut. So at the moment, they're on a 35% cut. They're going to 50% cut as of Monday. So that means that they need to cut back their, their use by 50%. That applies to urban as well. So we shouldn't be seeing any lawns in the bay getting watered. And we really want to see that, um, that uh, kind of efficiency really come in. And remember, you will see irrigators irrigating still because they still are allowed to use 50% of their water, but they will be managing that and targeting their key areas. If we get rain this weekend, which hopefully we do, we'll make a decision on Monday about the outcome of that. But at the moment, please assume that the rationing will go to 50% cut on Monday. Very small aside to that is the Waikura Pupu Springs You'll notice there, the output from there is probably a bit lower than you're used to seeing. Um, this is a direct influence of the Cobb power scheme. So they're you know, managing their water up there as well. And so there's less water going into the river, which means you'll see less irrigation in the upper catchment. But it also means there's less of that pressure influence on the springs. So when you release water in the upper catchment, it has a pressure influence on the springs that lifts their output. So it's completely natural. It's nothing to be worried about, but it's just reflecting the river flow in the use of the cob power scheme.